Good morning. So the past few months have been very turbulent for everybody's lives and you know being forced to stay home a lot of us take up all these different hobbies and I decided to take up coffee, um, specialty coffee. I didn't expect that a lot of you would actually be interested in my morning coffee routine. It can sound a little snobby, it's a bit particular, but if you're into coffee, then I hope you enjoy this video. My weapon of choice is the pour over and specifically the Hario V60. I've been experimenting with a bunch of other pour over tools. Um, I've tried the Kalita, the Melita, the Bon Mac. And there's some experimental ones too, like the reverse dripper and the torch dripper, which Pauline just bought for me. Thanks, babe. But if you're looking to buy your first ever pour over brewer, I cannot recommend the V60 enough. It's portable, it's very easy to use, it's very versatile in the types of flavors it can bring out in a coffee. And honestly, I've dropped it a couple times, so you know, it being made of plastic is very helpful. Plus, the plastic one actually retains heat better than the porcelain one, or is it ceramic? For coffee, I buy my beans whole because freshly ground beans are always better. Lala know when the beans are freshly roasted, like the beans that I like to buy from Candid Coffee. I love buying from local roasteries, one, because they know exactly what they're doing with their coffee. They're not just burning it to make it as dark as possible, but they're roasting it to just the right amount to bring out the right flavors. Two, because we gotta support local, especially at this time. So if you're looking for coffee, I recommend any of these guys on the screen. Today I'm rocking Candid's Honey Cereal Blend which is a very vibrant um, breakfast kind of blend. It's almost soothing. Uh, for more specific descriptors, uh, they use frosted cornflakes and bright honey and even dried cranberry. I'm not great at tasting but I can definitely taste the frosted cornflakes part of the Honey Cereal Blend. That's what's cool about local roasters and different coffees like you know, Candid also has this other blend called Peach Mango Pie, which doesn't taste like an actual peach mango pie, but then the flavors are reminiscent of tropical stone fruit, you know. Basically, I'm a fan of coffee that doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes more like, you know, the tea flavors like floral and fruity. I also yung matabang or sobrang bitter na coffee. Coffee, when brewed right, can actually taste sweet, guys. Anyway, as you've seen, I grind my coffee myself. I have a hand grinder from Hario. Another common mistake in addition to getting coffee beans that are roasted too darkly is getting grinds that are super fine. Um, I think that medium grinds are king. I think medium coarse grinds even uh, are much better for pour overs. Well, I mean, that's my personal taste. But when the grind is too fine, too much flavor is extracted out of the coffee and that will usually result in a bitter cup. So as you watch the rest of my coffee routine, um, I will acknowledge right here that it really is not the quickest way to make coffee. Um, I like the tactile feel. I like the quote-unquote ritual or the process of making coffee every morning. It really contributes to having a slow, meditative, thoughtful, and even mindful morning every day and even in the middle of this pandemic there's kind of this pressure for us to stay productive to keep you know getting everything done very fast but while there are times in our life when we need to hustle um it's not every single moment in our life that we need to rush and finish everything as fast as possible in this pandemic we see several different kinds of people we see those people who are taking the opportunity to start a business to start baking or cooking or selling whatever they have and then we have some people who feel like they're left behind because um, their friends or their peers are getting to set up such a successful business or still getting to be productive even in this pandemic but then you know uh, we're healing we're processing our emotions and that kind of makes that other group of people feel insignificant or small or even incapable and I don't think that's healthy. I think we just need to accept that some people are the type to rush in head first and others are the type to enjoy the journey and then there are even other people who need to take time to heal and to process and I just want to reassure you that if that's you that's okay. Do not compare your chapter 2 to somebody else's chapter 20. And in my pinaka non-toxic positivity tone with all the sensitivity, right, there's still a lot in life that we can be thankful for. I know for a fact that a large percentage of us watching aren't even 
past half of our lives and for some even a third or a quarter of our lives. There's a lot of time to process and to heal and to enjoy the journey. There's no need to feel pressured about having to rush through life. And I think processing and healing is kind of just like brewing coffee. You know, when you brew, I mean, when your brew time is too short, you usually end up with a very acidic cup of coffee. It can get really sour, uh, under extracted, not enough flavor. But then on the other hand, when your brew time is too long and maybe some people uh, spend too much time processing and healing, spend too much time, uh, I don't want to use those words processing and healing, but like sulking, dwelling, you know, letting themselves drown in their negative feelings without moving forward. Uh, long brew times usually end up in a bitter cup. And in life, we don't want to end up with a bitter mindset. And that's pretty much the balance that I'm trying to strike in this pandemic as I keep journaling and being mindful and processing my emotions. I don't want to do it too short that I end up with a sour mindset, so to speak, but I don't want to sulk and dwell too much that I end up with a bitter mindset. I also don't want to end up sick, but when I find myself coughing, I'm really thankful that I have Solmux Forte as a yummy and fast solution for a cough. This guy is easy to drink and it's not like those bitter cough suspensions. It's actually quite sweet, but at the same time, it's sugar-free. I don't know how it does that. Great value for money here. It's very easy to drink. I love the flavor and I feel it working very, very quickly, actually. So thank you, Solmux, for being my bitter to better solution because of you, I don't have to feel bitter when I have cough or even drink anything bitter when I have cough. And that includes my coffee, which I brewed for just the right amount of time. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna end the video here, but let me know in the comments what else you wanna see. Take care of yourselves, don't be afraid to take time to heal, and as always, have a great day.